Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. Thanks to the team at Robot Kingdom. In today's video we're taking a look at the Stellar Warrior M04 Lash Layer as part of the Unique Toys Bruticus line. This is of course their interpretation of Blast Off. Quick look around the box. We have Blast Off on the front there. We have the Complete Wave on the top side of the box we've got him in his shuttle mode his arm mode and of course the fully combined bruticus and on the back there we have some more pictures of him doing some dynamic posing and with his gun on top bottom we have warnings about not eating your toys uh, without further ado let's crack him open and here we have him out of his plastic prison now he might not be as g1 cartoon accurate as his comrades such as brawl and swindle but there is a big but he has a fantastic shelf presence he's got some really sleek curves uh, the backpack is probably the uh, downside to this figure it's somewhat hollowed out but at the same time they've kept it relatively small i love the gun that he comes with and the head sculpt is absolutely impeccable i love that kind of clean cut vibe that he's got going about him uh, very in keeping with the masterpiece line especially the way they're going with their megatron release and this up and coming prime 3.0 i think this will fit in wonderfully as well as this gorgeous blast off we also get his card with the Unique Toys logo on the back. We get a faux shuttle chest piece. If you decide to use this on the front of Bruticus, much like we get in the cartoon, we get those thick red eyes. And we actually get a look at our first hand for Bruticus. Uh, really nice stiff joints on here. They've done it before. They've done Odin and they know what they're doing this is made very nicely and very in keeping with their feet although a lot of people are painting up the feet they're painting them up to match the show uh, such as swindles being painted up kind of a dusty desert camo but yeah i'm really liking how these hands look uh, no real storage for the hands in the robot mode uh, but i'm okay with that uh, i think obviously that's something that mastermind creations are doing with their figures uh, they're going to incorporate all of the arms and feet etc but personally i like how this figure looks in his robot mode and i really am glad they didn't incorporate the hand into that because it would really ruin those sleek designs I think it's kind of that look where you're looking up towards him and his head is just pointing down that's what really sells it to me it's that character that it manages to capture uh, articulation wise his head can look up that much and we can go down that much the neck joint does tend to come up with it it doesn't really lock and latch in we can go left and we can go right and unfortunately we do not have any quizzical tilting but oh, the face sculpt is gorgeous uh, the arms can move around up and down we have landing gear on the back of this arm so you have to be mindful when moving the arms up and down they are on a ratchet we can go forwards and backwards they do just clear this chest piece but not amazingly uh, these are more covers i guess there's no uh, no butterfly joint on there either we get an upper bicep rotation we get not one but two bends on the elbow we get a tilt up and down on the wrist we get a rotation on the wrist and the fingers are all pinned but the trigger finger is separated from the rest the waist can rotate we do get that abdominal tilt as part of his arm mode now the crotch comes up as one piece i really don't like that i like them to come up separately but it's a low cut crotch so we can still get the legs that far forwards and all the way back out to the side there nice upper thigh rotation uh, approximately a 90 degree bend on that knee and i do like this translucent plastic they've used on there so you can see some of the kind of circuitry coming down to the feet we do have some up and down motion 
on those toes and they do tilt quite nicely. Really does roll around there. And if you wanna incorporate the thrusters as part of the heel spur, you can, but this is a big chunk of plastic here. So it really does help keep him in a very solid pose. So he can go this far down doing the splits whilst keeping his feet flat on the floor. I love that gun as well. That's got some serious size to it as well. It's almost like he's overcompensating for something. Quick scale comparison. Here he is alongside the their swindle and of course their brawl. I would get uh, onslaught out as well, but he's in torso mode. Uh, I will compare all of these figures when I do the actual Bruticus review. Here we have him alongside the Zeta toys versions. As you can see, they do tower over Paul Blastoff, but I still see these as the kind of Bruticus of the 21st century, whereas the Unique toys are trying to keep it very close to the G1 animation style. And, you know, personally, I think that scale is pretty good. And interestingly, uh, I think he actually scales better with the X Transbot crack up uh, due to the fact that he's a shuttle and crack up is of course a Lamborghini. I think that's actually a pretty darn good size. Right now we also got this in the set. I assumed it was for blast off, maybe to uh, fill out those eyes, but you can't get that in there. This is all uh, kind of one nice big piece inside of his head. Uh, so I can only assume it's maybe for Bruticus in his combined mode. Uh, if anybody knows, please just let me know in the comments section below. Let's change up young Blastoff here into his space shuttle mode. You want to remove the gun from his hand. Uh, the gun is very stiff going into those hands. The joints are quite tight and I had to kind of forcibly shove that in there. But once it's in there, it's in there. Uh, this backpack piece can unfold and comes away from the back. These tabs unfold from underneath here. I, the clearance is very minimal. I had to kind of lift my head up slightly to get those out. Uh, but once they're out, they're out. It, like I said, it's a very kind of minimal, very minimal clearance. I don't really want to slide in and out of there very well. And you want to bring this piece up. The nose cone is also going to come up. Blast off arms come upwards to either side, rotate the arms so that these pieces are facing outwards. This arm actually slides up and in doing so we can bring this round. The fist is gonna come down as well. This here needs to rotate and then it's going to collapse and, and that's going to rock in position on that arm. The fist is gonna be hanging down to the back and then we're gonna work this shoulder up and over and then the wheel can come down to the center and you should have the fists pointing upwards like so this chest piece comes down we have the combiner port we'll just rock down to that position blast off's head sits quite comfortably in this gap here come down to the underside and this piece untabs and then we get another tab as well you should have that on both sides and before we rock this into place let's just sort out these legs these wheels will come up these pieces here will rotate around to the other side of the legs and we can put that landing gear back up the front of the leg comes untabbed we have these fold down sections on either side these come all the way down and fill this void at the bottom. With the feet at this angle, we can rotate around and then that's gonna come back in. And we now have the thrusters at the base and this leg will bend up, down, and then slide back into itself. The crotch piece will flip upwards like so. And that now allows the leg tab to fully close off and re-tab back into position and then we can bring the thrusters down to the base. Now, personally, I find it easier to tab both of these legs in first, squeezing them together at the appropriate points, and then we can fully collapse these knees down 
this now lines up perfectly both of these knees are in place for us to close these tabs off this can come back up and push off against the base we can bring these wings outwards bring the thrusters back up to the rear now I'm not sure how these thrusters are meant to be at the back if we're meant to see the foot piece or if we're meant to see the heel I would imagine we're meant to see the base of that foot hence they've styled it the way they have uh, but I'm not entirely sure but that goes like that then we can bring everything into position this is going to slide down like so these are going to tab in to this back piece like so and then we can close everything off the cockpit section is going to come down and tab in and then that nose cone piece will come and just loop over pulling everything in now we're meant to push these shoulders down so they click but i can't seem to get this last one down enough in that socket so there's a small gap on mine this side tidies up really nicely and this side not so much it's just that very small gap uh, these pieces here to tab in to those wings and there we have him in his shuttle mode make sure this is all tabbed in firmly you can put the gun in the top that's meant to go in there anyway um, but it's a bit a bit wibbly wobbly in there <laughs> tidy that up we grab that additional chest piece push that on to the top and then we can bring this back over and tab all of this in that kind of just tidies up that shell uh, I know it's a double cockpit piece there but that's so when we take the chest piece off then we still have what looks to be a shuttle on the arm without losing all of its aesthetics there we go there is the mighty blast off let's bring it down his landing gear i think if we bring those up back over the legs then they won't fall down no, <laughs> they still fall down i was hoping that if i brought them back over the legs they wouldn't but uh ah, landing gear doesn't really work uh, if you've got him in a static pose like that you'll be all right no nope. ah! i cannot for the life of me get the landing gear to work if he's in a static pose Ta -da! <laughs> and now we have our space shuttles that's three very different approaches to the space shuttle obviously astro train really does need to be redone but i like how blast off looks and i like that they incorporated this additional shell on here that we can pop off uh, for his combined mode uh, the instructions are not overly clear and i still can't get mine to tab in quite right on that shoulder but it really does clean up really nicely on the underside love that translucent plastic as well it's a very clean it's a very nice looking bot it's just not without its faults i wish it was bigger and i do wish that the gun uh, kind of stayed in one place and didn't twiddle around so it can kind of precariously slide it in so it it doesn't move but uh, all in all i actually think this is my favorite of their Rudicus series thus far it's a very fun bot mode uh, the alt mode uh, the journey wasn't amazing to get there the legs are very much the same as what we got with the zeta version uh, but i think overall it's a good solid figure now in preparation for bruticus let's remove the gun we have a little bit of parts forming as an option it's a choice you don't have to do it uh, but personally if you remove these wing pieces like so and then we come to this 
nose piece. Lift this up. With the nose down, we should be able to wiggle this off of here. Oh, that was on ridiculously tight. Oh, that was almost laughable at how tight that was on there. Now these face upwards and they come in and they just tab, tab in like that. And they go upwards like so. There we go. That's the additional chest piece. It's not necessarily the only chest piece you have to use for Bruticus, but it's a nice piece nonetheless adds to that kind of G1 look. Now we can bring the front of this shuttle back down now that I've pulled everything apart. These are gonna come up either side and just push, which will lift this entire back piece upwards. There we go. This front port comes down. You're gonna push from the back here, which will bring the combiner port around to the front. These pieces fold, fold back in on themselves and then fold back in and again, fold inwards and back in again that allows this joint to work on the elbow and we're going to push and collapse that down and they can sit like that this can bring back like so uh, we can come down to the underside you want to just split these open a fraction bring these pieces up and we have this tab piece just on the inside that's going to tab in like that and then this is going to close back off these are going to come up this will close back off and tab in on this side ah like so so at the moment we've got something that looks like this the final stage is to grab both of these and you want to ah there pull and extend this section here is actually tucked away inside the torso that now allows us to bend the elbow without any fear of paint scrapage because yeah? before that was just rubbing quite severely on here. Uh, yep, there we go. There is the Bruticus arm in all of its glory. Honestly, cannot wait to get this guy combined up. This can just flop down like so, and that piece here will tab in to the side of Onslaught. Just give you an idea of how big the arm is. It's a pretty decent size. Now I do have the Toy World Constructor, so I will, obviously I'll be showing this alongside them. But for now, that is a Bruticus arm. Uh, next up, we will have Vortex. I'll let you know my thoughts on that. And then Bruticus will get his very own video. If you have any particular requests for the Bruticus comparison, I, like with Megatron or Starscream, etc., then please let me know in the comments section below. I'll also include a link at the end of the video, which takes you to the Unique Toys DX9 playlist and a link through to my Patreon page if you'd like to support these channels. Until next time, from myself and the Stellar Warriors, Lash Layer M04 by Unique Toys, ah, goodbye. <laughs>